Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dog Dad. So, it is bright and early here in Los Angeles. I'm at my home. I actually just did some laundry. As you can see, I hung it up. This is how I grew up. I grew up in the country. I grew up on the East Coast. I like to hang dry my t-shirts so they do not shrink. Because I'm tall, if they shrink, they become crop tops for me. So, Storm and I are out here, and we just did our laundry. The garden is gardening. How gorgeous is it here? Boy, am I lucky. It is beautiful. Wow. Stunning. It's a bit bright, babes. Yes, bright and early here in sunny California. I am actually heading to Joey's house to pick up Monty because I need to take her to the vet. She may have an infection in one of her breasts, something called mastitis. It's just a bacterial infection, but essentially it just makes the breast very large and tender and it hurts. She can still breastfeed, so she's not at risk for anything, I don't think, but we're gonna go and make sure it's not worse than what I think it is. Also, I took a few pictures and I'm gonna talk to the vet about Bo's little growth arrow on his face. If you guys are not caught up with the last episode, I will link it down below. But yeah, we named all the puppies. It's so cute. Let me know what you guys think. But right now I'm gonna have a little breakfast, take Storm for a walk, and then head out for an 8.30 a.m. appointment. And then I got a busy day. So let's get into it. Well, good morning, pretty lady. You're so stunning. It's your first outing post-pregnancy. Shall we go to the vet vibes? All right, let's go, little one. All right, let's see how much you weigh. 66.7. You were 85 when you were pregnant. Monty is just the best girl. This is this is her, her temperament. Literally, we've just been here for five minutes and she just chills. You just go right to bed, huh? This is how I trained you. I barely had to train you though. You were just like, this is your normal temperament. Very, very good girl. So we are having her breast look at to make sure she doesn't have any infection. And then I also did mention the puppy and the growth. So I will update you guys on that in a moment. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, how are you? Good. And this is the beautiful mama, huh? This is Montana, yes. Hi, Miss Montana. She's very sweet. We have one puppy who has a little growth where their whiskers are. He's eating healthy, he's not showing any weird signs. Are you sure it's times. not like an ingrown hair? Maybe? I thought it was. Try warm Quarter compressing it, like take a warm wet washcloth and okay. hold it on it for like five minutes at a time, okay. five times a day, Okay. and see if it it he may like it. up. All right, let's get her to lay down. I don't think this is bruising so much as it is just like skin irritation. Okay. So they all feel good. Okay. It could be just that these are over full. Okay. At this point, everything looks normal. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Well, Monty, you have a clean bill of health a hundred dollars later just to be told that you're completely fine and to offer no solutions, but it was good to be a little informed. But you're a good girl. Let's go feed your babies, because I'm sure they're hungry. Well, she's fine. I've been tricked again. I told you this morning she was fine. But yesterday she wasn't fine, so I wanted to make sure that she was going to be fine. Hey, uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. Snippertons, they smell meat. Yeah, so they said if the titties ever get hard and filled, that we need to massage them with a warm cloth and milk her. Oh. They said, please milk her because she needs to be released. She needs to release. Oh. <laughs> oh, much. No, that's mine. Just a little piece. You need to share. Yes. So please get, get, get. squeeze her nipples oh, glad. and release it and then use it to cook with. <laughs> Edible. All right, Monty, let's go feed your babies. Oh. Come on. Guys, look how insane the roads are in this rain. Oh my God, LA just cannot handle the amounts of water we're getting right now. Look at that, it's an actual river. Wow. It is a rainy day here in Los Angeles and I thought, why not go to Home Goods? Because I love going to Home Goods. It's kind of like, I feel like it's where I go when I just need a little pick me up, whether I'm getting a little candle or sometimes I don't get anything at all because a lot of them are very picked over, but it's a good time of day right now. It's 2 p.m. So not everybody is out and about and it is the beginning of the week. So hopefully they have some new stuff, but I'm just looking for a little couple knickknacks here and there for the holidays. I love everything design and decor and I love finding some pieces here at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I'm always going to be a more of a Maxinista gal myself. You know, I do like nice things, of course. 
hours, but I will always mix something semi-expensive or like antique with something from Marshall TJ Maxx Home Goods. Why not? That's how I was raised. Why not? You don't need to show off the price tag. You don't need to be shopping at the greatest stores all the time or the most expensive places. You can find great deals here. So we're going to do a little shopping. So I thought I would take you guys along the little shopping day, shopping journey. Well, really, we're just going to one store. And then we are going to Joey's house. The puppies are growing rapidly. And I am going to make breakfast for Monty because I'm taking the morning shift. Joey takes the night shift. And I actually cook all of her food. And I kind of prep it for the week because Joey can't cook for shit. And he burns everything. I'll show you guys the schedule, her eating schedule, and exactly what I have written down for Joey, what he should be feeding her. I'm more of the motherly, fatherly type. But he is really great with animals and puppies. Monty loves him. And yeah, that's where we're at. A little modern family here so let's go do some shopping and then we're gonna go check out the puppies and I'll show you exactly what I'm feeding them today well what I'm feeding Monty all right see you in the store also a few of you guys were asking me in the comments where my tote bag is from so this is like my day-to-day -day. I keep this in my car I use this if I'm grocery shopping or just like at a store if I don't want to like take their plastic bags but this is from a company called sail bags I think I don't think it has a tag on the inside but it is made from recycled sailboat sails so very very heavy duty I like it because it's waterproof well I don't know if it's waterproof no it is waterproof because it's a sail but canvas isn't I usually normally have canvas tote bags it has this nice like heavy duty rope handle and also clasps I do wish it had a little pocket on the inside it has a tiny one right here and I do wish I had a zipper I'm sure some of them do this is one of their first bags I got it customized with the D on it they do that online I'll put them into the description I'm sure they have nicer ones now but this one I've had for years and years and it's fabulous and I'm sure you guys will like it because I really love the size it's big so it's kind of like my everyday car bag like sometimes it's my dog treat bag and carries leashes very versatile yeah Taking this in with me. Let's get ourselves a little soaking wet. But here we are at the Mecca. This one is in Tarzana. It's one of my favorites. Oh my god, guys, it's begun. I am not ready for the holidays. I think I actually might be skipping, but they always have great stuff and it's barely November. Wow. Okay, first find is this gorgeous pillow. It's like in a ochre color. I'm not sure, but I am potentially redoing my bedroom here in LA for a more like vintage cabin y vibe. And I just love this. I love the tassels. I love a big pillow like this to put on a bed or on a couch or like on a windowsill. I think it's really pretty and I love all the texture. So we're gonna grab this. This is 29. That's not too bad. Good, good price for this size. All right, if you guys know me, you know I'm a candle person. However, I am a candle snob. So as much as I'll like a fragrance, I will not get, I'm sorry, well, I'm not, this isn't me. That's not my brand. This is not my brand. I like a cute, vessel so like this kind of vibe neutral i like to use a vessel after the candle's done love a dw home vessel those are great candles but i'm picky so i actually found these guys i thought these were gorgeous like this i would use again really really pretty i also lean more towards like a pine cedar forest kind of vibe i got that one and then i found this one as well <laughs> smells really nice and then I also love a fresh pine. This is a really big one. This is like, this one's 20, the others are 14. This one's nine. So I'm gonna go, I think, with these three. I like this one, but it, I'm not, uh, actually this one's kind of cute, we'll see. Maybe I'll decide between these two. Okay guys, I'm kind of striking out. Honestly, it's too much. They have so much crap, which is crazy. I just feel like it's gotten so popular over the years, which I love, great for them. But there's just so much like, cheap stuff and they've definitely jacked up their prices. I feel like this is a lot of old stuff from maybe what was supposed to be here during the COVID years because it's really not, it's not the vibe this year, but this is what I found so far. I'm more of like a vintage -y, simplistic kind of vibe. So I got these Christmas cards. I'm gonna attempt to do Christmas cards this year. Got this for my front door, thought it was cute. Got some of those candles and that's really about it for now. I don't know, I'm sure I'll find some other things here and there, but you ever want something and you just, truly don't need it. I'm like a grown up now. I love holidays and I love all these things, but I just don't need it anymore. I am looking for some really nice plaid pillows for like that cabin aesthetic, but I can't find any in the tones that I want. Everything's either like bright lime green or bright, bright red. I want like muted burgundies, muted forest greens, kind of like in this world. I know I have some at Joey's house from storage that he's not gonna have. We still, him and I actually have so much. We probably have, a garage full of 
holiday stuff that were in a storage container that we need to go through since he's not a big holiday person like I am. I bought like maybe, God, how much did we buy over the years? Probably like 50 or 60 grand worth of holiday decor that we need to split and we'll see. But yeah, I think I'm good for now. I'll let you know if I find anything else. It's a little bit later. I am actually heading to do a podcast right now. If you guys are not subscribed, please go subscribe to Fool Coverage with Manny MUA and Laura Lee, my good friends. This is actually my second time on the pod. I was actually their first guest around this time on the on the calendar, this time of year, a year ago. So I'm super excited. We're doing a Hot Topics segment, and you guys know I just love a Hot Topics moment. Sometimes I am the hot topic. Most times I'm not, but I always do love to give a good input and I am entertaining if it is as I'm gonna say of. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I ordered a little Starbucks and I'm here at the studio. So I'm gonna pop in right now and I'll see you inside in a second. I have arrived. I've come in a storm. You have. I, I'm literally. It's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. And I didn't cancel. I and I'm here shocked. on time, and it's literally shocked. flash flood warnings okay? here. I, somebody else, <laughs> somebody else didn't come. We're not going to name them. Gabriel, someone else. Yes, and I'm Gabriel. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take take it off. What did y'all eat here? They ate without me. Yeah, Beasts. It was disgusting. It was sick. Some. No, and you know what? I probably she doesn't yeah. eat any of her food. A bird. A bird. I got a little Starbucks. I'm, these pants on. I'm here in the Ooh. studio. You need to get back in the studio. Thank you. Doodle. You need to get back in the studio. Look, you guys. Here I am. Can you see me? Hi, Tyler. Hello. I'm oh, zooming into there the. You go. There you go. Wow. Could be the away. <laughs> Laura's, Laura's getting our hot topics. The hot topic. Yeah, there it is. Oh hot my God, topic. Laura. It, jiggle. it do jiggle. Wow. The BBL is work. It's <laughs> yeah. BBLing. BBLing. <laughs> Her money yeah. do jiggle jiggle. It all. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be Daniel. after Daniel. Zoom. That's your Daniel's angle. shot. You know what? The skin is right. The skin's right. The skin is right. right. You're back in Cali, that's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. oh, it's right. so true. Right. No, it's, it's so true. Too. Yeah. You're I won't. Out of that hell. Yeah, it's, you guys, when I'm in Montana, my skin literally it's rots right. off Peeling. my flesh. It peels like off. Elephantitis. It's a psoriasis for me. That also would be my drag name. Psoriasis. Eczema. I love you, I love you. Yeah. Eczema. Anyways, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> the podcast went amazing. We talked for like an hour and a half, honestly. I could talk to those guys forever. They're such wonderful friends. So make sure to check out their channels and check out the podcast. It is up now. I'm gonna link it down below. But right now I'm back at Joey's. Uh, we're gonna feed Monty a little midnight snack. Not really midnight, it's 8 p.m. And I'll show you some of the things that I got for her. I ordered online. Let's go. Oh, hello, boys. Where's your father? Is he gaming? You guys need to go outside? Hey, we'll see. Okay, we'll we'll okay, come on. It's raining. Let's go. So I actually got this a while ago, but I left it in Montana. I showed you guys this and what, what I feed my pregnant dog in a day. So I got another one of these, K9 Complete. It just, it's a daily all-in-one. It's like a multivitamin. It has essential fatty acids, antioxidants, probiotics, enzymes, prebiotics, minerals. It's all-in-one, great for their skin and coat. I also got these. Uh, she has a little bit of runny poop, and pumpkin works for that, but also dehydrated carrots. It naturally helps relieve diarrhea, digestive issues, dull coat, and itchy skin, which golden retrievers are prone to have um, itchy skin and like, uh, what's it called? Allergies. And then I also got this, which is a postnatal vitamin called Oxymama. I got this on Amazon. It supports lactation and recovery with multivitamins, herbs, and essential amino acids. This is great post-birth. And then this is what I used to feed her before. This was a prenatal. So yeah, this supports a healthy pregnancy. Essentially the same thing, but this is a post. I'm gonna put some of these in her food, her little snack. So for a little snack, I have some boiled potatoes that I'm gonna dice up. I have some of this, it's called Awesome Squash. It's a topper. I'm gonna do some of the dehydrated carrots. And then I have some salmon that I made earlier just because she loves salmon. And then I have the postnatal vitamin and the canine complete. I'm probably gonna add in some yogurt, just in case, and maybe a raw egg and some carrots just to um, give her a little snack, just a small portion. It's really good to feed a nursing dog six-ish small meals instead of like three big meals. And this is just while she's nursing, just to give her nutrients throughout the day. And then once she stops nursing, after three to four weeks, she can go back to her normal diet, but just 
good healthy stuff to load her up on all the minerals she needs so she can keep creating milk because she's lactating and feeding these babies. No, you can't have any. Hi, my baby girl. How are you? How are the girls and the boys? I have a little snack for you. What do you think? Are you hungry? Did your daddy feed you? But I have some delectable goodness there. Oh yeah, she's still hungry. I don't think Joey understands how hungry this dog is because she could eat all day long. I mean, look at that. Hungry girl, and you already had your dinner. That's a good girl, eat everything else. Well, girly girl, you gobbled that up. Nice, didn't you? You ate mostly everything. I also made you some goat's milk with the colostrum and two eggs right in here, because you seem hungry. I'm gonna give you this. Yep, gobbled. Gobbled right up. Hungry girly. So the issue with little Monty is that Monty never wants to leave her pen because she loves them so much, which is amazing. She cares about them so much that you have to really get in here, feed her, and make sure she eats everything. And you have to come in here and give her water and then you literally have to take her out. And you literally have to be very diligent with lifting her out of the pen and taking her outside to go to the bathroom. Normally she's a huge water drinker, but because of all the milk that she had, I think she might be pretty good. Oh, oh she wants water. See how she's constantly cleaning? She loves. All right, well that is it for today's video, but for the next couple minutes, I'm just gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna let you guys just soak in all of the puppies for a couple minutes, four or five minutes, and let you guys just bask in the sounds and see Monty by herself. Just gonna set it here. I'm gonna go clean up a few things that I have to in the house. But if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, drop a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed, and go follow on my other social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and here, just at Mr. Prada. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. I love you so much. Bye.